Lee. Simon. How are the emotions after that? I uh, personally really enjoyed your celebration at the end there. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, look, there's, there's a lot of angst. Is that the right word? There's a lot of angst that come out of that. We, um, at the group as a, as a whole, have taken a lot of... Um, a lot of negatives, a lot of negatives with them as well, and they've they, they not really deserved it. We, we all have, you know, um, and it was massive today, you know. We we just, there was no, do you know what? It was no pressure on us that way. It, it was nice to just play without, we didn't feel any pressure. We took it all off ourselves and put it all on Biggles ways, you know. It made a nice change. I think we started the game brilliantly. Look, at the end, uh, it, it become very, very fractious at the end because, there are a lot of boys that run through the mill for us. But look, as a result, emotions, everything, I'm pleased for the supporters um, because they deserve one of that. You know, what the bloody nose we took Saturday was horrendous for us. You know, it was, it was horrible because we didn't deserve that. Um, but then to pick ourselves up and put in a performance and a result like that, phenomenal. And, and, and the boys deserve all the credit for that because they're the ones out there. We're just picking a team. But yeah, really, really good replays. And, you know, I wasn't sure yesterday about the club making an announcement like they did on the on the social medias. I wasn't I wasn't overly sure because, it, you know, but I think it proved to be the right thing because it settled a lot of the boys down because there's been a lot of, um, let's put it in another way, a lot of two Bob Snakes really been trying to get into this club and spend a lot of nonsense about what's going on next year and that. The club have put that to bed and I think it settled the boys down. So, um, yeah, we, uh, we'll enjoy tonight. Look, we've got a nice 10, 11 days off. It's done nothing. It's made us probably stronger for the playoffs now. Um, that's all. It's no more to win the league or anything like that. We're just we're probably cementing ourselves a little bit closer to the playoffs, and that's the way we look at it. But the boys can enjoy tonight. They've been brilliant today. Unbelievable job of answering every one of my questions in one there. <laughs> that's I, I know you so well, don't I now? <laughs> like you said, I guess the pressure was off a little bit today, and you. And you probably considered marginal underdogs before the game. That did seem to suit uh, the the way you played today. No marginals about it. Massively, I thought we was we were definitely underdogs because you know what we've had left the group and what we brought in and the two young boys from Watford, brilliant again today. You know, Charlie and Josh. Josh just has been here. What, he cut the cut the curry night. He, he was involved Saturday in the group and then played today. He was he was fantastic. Charlie, look, getting stronger and stronger with it. And but the deal we got with Watford is is. It's not that they come in and they have to play. It's not that deal. It's luckily I've known Richard Johnson a long time through Watford, and they come in and they earn their shirts. But look, they'll tell you it's nothing like academy football, and uh, I'm really pleased for them. The two centre backs are brilliant. Smudgy getting a clean sheet, but as, as a unit, look, they weren't. I thought Leon Leon was probably Mister Outstanding. You go through the rest of them, uh, they all they all put a shift in. I was. Delighted for Dolson because listen, other lads might have had a, had a soul con. Right, league's top scorer was on the bench the last two games. He never looked like he had a soul con today. He's been come back into it and, and run his socks off. So Blakey led him well. Yeah, I mean a, a, a far contrast from Saturday. But you know what? I still stick to it. We played the right Saturday, you know, and uh, that was a tough one to take. So for them to get that result today, brilliant. I've got to ask you. Um, you have basically answered it already but how do you see the title race now it can be good to have that hunter mentality can't it sometimes and it's all about how Biggleswade Town handle the pressure of having those games in hand uh, I guess you you just concentrate on your yeah, job that, same again right? one game at a time it's not um, I don't think it's not ours it's not ours to, it's not ours to go and win it's, it's Biggles ways to go and lose it was our title at some stage in the season to go and win we haven't done it we've slipped up it's it's all on Biggles Wade, you know, it's whatever they decide they're going to do. If they decide they're going to win it, they're going to win it. Um, all we can do is just keep, look, I'm not even worried about that. I want to get a good group in there, you know, a good 16 that, that want to play for this club and want to battle for each other. I think you see that today. And I think to a man, you see a group that really want to be together, enjoy each other's company. Um, and we haven't had that, you know, it's been so fractious in that. Um, but yeah, no, Who's that? That's the wife. <laughs> I'll speak to her in a minute. Um, yeah, like, so yeah, it's, um, yeah, as I said, look, I'm pleased for the boys. Pleased for the boys. Finally, um, Alex Collard uh, out injured today. Uh, yeah. Blakey coming on, uh, not coming on, but he, uh, you made him captain today. Yeah. And it was a real captain's performance, wasn't it? He's been fantastic. Everyone knows that he's um, teacher's pet. He's, uh, 
he started every game. He's, uh, he, I think he's phenomenal. Um, he just runs. And, I'd hate to mark him. And that's when sometimes you look at players and you go, I would hate to play against him. And he's, yeah, he's a lead, he's a leader. He's he, he's a good boy. He's he's um, got a lot of time for him. But listen, Alex was great though as well because injured. But he's there with the boys. He's in the change room. Jack Green. They haven't got to be here when they're injured, but they're they're with you. They're with us. Um, big four weeks to come, and then we prepare ourselves to the playoffs. And hopefully, we're in the right frame of mind come to the playoffs. Cheers, mate. Well done. Cheers, sir. Ciao, mate.